Hey there, it's Cindy Watson from Women On Purpose, and welcome to another installation of Willing To Change Wednesday. Every Wednesday, I explore new ideas and bounce ideas off you to inspire you to shift your mindset and kickstart a change in how you live your life. Today, I want to talk about breaking down old patterns and barriers. And to do that, I'd like you to take a moment to think about an old farmer. I want you to picture this old farmer getting on his old tractor and every day riding from the barn out to the field, taking the same path, that same route. What do you think is going to happen to the earth on that route? Those tires are going to dig into the ground and make a little rut at first. And every day as he follows that same path, that rut is going to get a little deeper and a little deeper until that farmer doesn't even have to hold the wheel of the tractor barely because that tractor will be following that deep ruts in the ground practically on autopilot. And that may seem easy and you may be saying, well, what's wrong with that? But think about it for a moment. That farmer, day after day, month after month, year after year of his life, follows that same route and he doesn't even get to see his own property, let alone the rest of the world. Well, our lives are like that a little bit. When we engage in the same patterns over and over, we create these little ruts in our life that get deeper and deeper just like those ruts from that farmer's tractor tires. And we start to live our life on autopilot. But we can change that. Just think, by changing that tractor wheel just a bit, if that farmer turned that tractor wheel just a bit, if we turn the wheel of our life just a bit, our tractors can take us in new directions. And the longer we stay on those paths, the further afield we can go, the more we will see, the more we will experience. Western culture has traditionally taught us to follow certain expected norms, to conform, whether it's in education, in our personal lives, in our relationships, heck, even our sexuality. So it's no surprise that we have built in defense mechanisms, that we have built-in excuses to keep our tractors following the same path, the path of conformity. So today I want to take a few minutes to explore some of the more typical excuses that we use, the explanations that we give ourselves from stopping ourselves from breaking out of that tractor rut, from turning the wheels of our lives a little bit. Let's look at those excuses and hold them up to the light and see if maybe we can debunk a few of them. Number one, it won't work. How many times when you're trying a new venture or thinking about maybe following your dreams or a new vision, has your mind played out for you all the possible ways that it could go wrong? We imagine all the possible worst case scenarios and convince ourselves that it can't be done. This kind of catastrophic thinking paralyzes us. It stops us from taking action. It stops us from moving forward towards our true dreams. Remember the law of attraction we talked about. If we assume it won't work, it likely won't. So why not shift your mindset? Why not assume that it will work? Try on that shift in mindset to a law of attraction mindset where you put out there an expectation that those things that you want in life are going to happen. And in doing that, you make them materialize. How about you turn that tractor wheel just a little bit and see the amazing places that it can take you when you believe in the power of your own dream? Excuse number two or barrier number two that holds us back. I'm not enough. How many times when you're trying to start a new venture, does that little inner critic, that voice in your head start questioning you, creating self-doubt, making you wonder if you're able to do it, and listing all of the reasons why you're not experienced enough, smart enough, pretty enough, whatever 
your inner critic badgers you about, convinces you to be afraid to take that step. We consistently underestimate ourselves. As women in particular, we are infinitely capable of more than we believe we are. Remember we talked a bit ago about shifting from a mindset of scarcity to a mindset of abundance? Why not try and apply that here? Rather than thinking about all of the things that you think you can't achieve, turn that on its head. And why not try and remember all of the amazing things that you've achieved so far in your life? All of those skills that you know that you have. Make a list, set them out, remind yourself of the things that you're able to do, those things that you're good at, those things that you've achieved when you set your mind to it. Focus on that positive energy and silence that inner critic. If you turn that tractor wheel just a little bit, why not believe in yourself, believe in the possibility and see where that can take you, the things you'll be able to achieve just by making that slight shift in your mindset and getting that tractor out of the rut. The third barrier I'd like to chat about is I'm comfortable, so why should I take the risk? We all have a comfort zone. Some people like to live there. When you're in a place that's comfortable, it reduces your stress, it reduces your anxiety. That's gotta be good, right? Why not take the safe choice? That's gotta be the smart choice, right? Staying in our comfort zone actually stops us from achieving our full purpose. It leaves us stymied where we are waiting for a tomorrow that can't come because we're living our days as filler. And that's understandable. I'm not criticizing. We're all guilty of it. I'm guilty of it as well. And there's a reason for that. Our brains are hardwired to keep us safe, to try and protect us. So it takes some belief in yourself to push past that fear, to push past that comfort zone, to follow your true beliefs and desires, to achieve great things and to take greater risks in life. So I invite you to question comfortable because comfortable is stuck. Comfortable is safe, but comfortable doesn't move us forward. And if you look at any of the research that's been done from people who are dying, and you look at the regrets of the dying, people invariably regret the things that they haven't done in life, those things that they haven't achieved, when they compromised and stayed comfortable and didn't have the courage to step outside and push forward towards their true beliefs and their true desires in life. That is most people's number one regret. Do you wanna suffer from that regret? Why not turn that tractor wheel just a little step at first? Once you get out of that rut, you may just surprise yourself how adventurous you're able to become. Sometimes the riskiest course in life is not taking any risks at all. So I encourage you to go follow your dream it's the only way to get there. Feel free to engage with this post or this idea. You can either comment and ask me to explore an idea in a future Willing to Change Wednesday, or feel free to share it directly with the group if you'd rather. Let's start a movement where we encourage women to unleash their feminine power. But either way, I hope you'll join me for our next Willing to Change Wednesday.